Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector in Jericho, a position that made him very wealthy, but also highly unpopular. Tax collectors at that time were often despised as traitors and extortionists, collaborating with the Roman occupiers to collect taxes from their fellow Jews, frequently charging more than was required to enrich themselves. When Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through, Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. However, being a short man, he could not see over the crowd. Determined, Zacchaeus ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to get a better view of Jesus as he passed by. As Jesus reached the spot where Zacchaeus was, he looked up and called him by name. Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. This invitation was significant because it broke social norms. A respected religious teacher associating with a known sinner like a tax collector was shocking to the onlookers. Zacchaeus hurried down and welcomed Jesus joyfully. The crowd, however, began to mutter, expressing their displeasure that Jesus would be the guest of a sinner. In response to Jesus' acceptance and perhaps moved by his teachings, Zacchaeus stood up and declared to Jesus, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus responded to Zacchaeus' declaration by affirming the purpose of his mission. Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. This encounter not only highlights the personal transformation of Zacchaeus, but also serves as a powerful illustration of the broader reach and purpose of Jesus' ministry, demonstrating his role as a figure who transcends social barriers to restore and heal. The story of Zacchaeus in the sycamore tree is found in the Gospel of Luke chapter 19, verses 1, 10, in the New Testament of the Bible. It's a narrative that highlights themes of repentance, salvation, and the inclusive nature of Jesus' ministry.